time it is, folks. Green flag in the air. It's time to rock, roll, and rumble here at the Level Pebble. See some cars getting sideways as they put the power down. Spinning the tires, coming to green as Sean Hingarani getting the jump here at the start. He will grab the lead. LeVar Scott falling back into second. There's the first battle on the racetrack. Billy Benarini going to battle against Zachary Tinkle. Two drivers on the opposite end of the experience spectrum right here. Billy Benarini with a lot of experience, of course. It all came back in the late 90s and early 2000s as we've got the first caution of the night. Derek McGrew getting turned sideways in the number 31 car. That puts us under the caution flag for the first time. Combatants last week at Nashville back in row two. There's the restart line in turn four. Green flag back up and let's see what happens on the restart. Hingarani again with the jump. Luke Fenhouse trying to sneak to the inside of LeVar Scott here on the restart. The battle on for second. Now the battle on for third. Fenhouse going to take over the second spot. Now LeVar stuck in that outside groove, trying to keep William Sawalich behind. Sawalich in the 18, trying to follow Fenhouse through to take over third. Last Saturday night at Nashville Fairgrounds, is we're going to go three wide over there in turns three and four. And here comes LeVar Scott to the bottom side of the racetrack, folks. LeVar with a power move to sneak underneath Derek McGrew and William Sawalich to take over third to the front of the field. Luke Fenhouse still trying to track down Sean Hingarani as we've got some lap traffic directly in front. It's Tim Monroe in the 10 working to the outside of Dale Scherer. Now let's see where Hingarani's going to go. Looks like he's going to go to the inside of the 10 car. Does he have room? Yes, he does. Tim Monroe going to give him all the room in the world. John Hingarani trying to continue the Venerini tradition of excellence right here as he is way up the racetrack coming to the restart. Green flag back out. Back underway here at the level bevel. Battle on for second. Here comes LeVar Scott to the bottom side of the racetrack trying to make it stick to the inside of Luke Fenhouse. Fenhouse putting the power down in that number 28 car. With the lead heating up. Look at this. We've got some traffic directly in front of the leaders. Tim Monroe in the 10 to the outside. So Sawal, or excuse me, Hingarani to the bottom side of the racetrack. Fenhouse in his tire tracks. And here comes Jeffrey McZink in the 65. Jeffrey going to give up the bottom side of the racetrack as well. Will Kimmel up the racetrack. They're going to let the leaders to the bottom side. Come on by. Look at this. 65 and the 10 almost coming together. So Sean Hingarani navigating some of that slower traffic. He's going to maintain the lead. Tim Monroe not able to really keep that car to the bottom side of the racetrack, but he's keeping his momentum up. Here comes Hingarani now to the backside of, yeah, we've got a caution flag. Caution flag out for the third time here tonight. Derek McGrew in the number 31 sideways once again over in turns one and two. William Sawalich, Billy Venerini back in row two, coming to green. Hingarani again using up every inch of the racetrack. Coming to those restarts. And that's going to allow William Sawalich to look to the inside of Luke Fenhouse. Now the battle on for second. You see a little damage to the nose to the number 18 car. Sawalich has done some physical bump and run racing here at Flat Rock Speedway. He's going to take over that second spot. Luke Fenhouse back to third. Dominated the season opener at Five Flags Speedway, leading all 200 laps. He's into the back of Sean Hingarani. Hingarani up the racetrack. William Sawalich will take the lead down the back stretch, and here comes Hingarani. He did not like that one bit. He gave Sawalich a shot down into three. Let's see what happens down into one. He's going to try to draw alongside. Wow, it is starting to get heated at the front of the field here at Flat Rock.
So Wallach locking up the brakes just a bit going down into one that time around, but he's going to open up a little breathing room and he's going to need that breathing room right now because Sean Hingarani in the 15 car, very heated inside the cockpit. Scott trying to find some racing room to the inside. There's some contact. Benhouse a little sideways, LeVar down into the dirt. Benhouse holds on to it, but he's going to give up that spot. LeVar Scott to third. Here comes Billy Venerini. So things get a little physical here within sight of the checkered flag at Flat Rock Speedway. Billy Venerini in fourth. Luke Fenhouse back to fifth. Now we're going to jump up towards the front of the field. There is the leader, William Sawalich, in the number 18. Ingarani now working his way to the outside of Tim Monroe. Tim doing a great job tonight in the eighth position. Ah, Ingarani now getting pinned behind a couple of lap cars. He's going to try to thread the needle. Down into turns one and two. We're going to stack them three wide. LeVar Scott following through. Some intense racing through some lap cars. With 20 laps to go here at Flat Rock Speedway. LeVar Scott now on the charge as he tries to track down Sean Hingarani. The battle lounge now for second. Sparks off the back of the 15 car as LeVar looking to the inside. Does he have room? Hingarani up the racetrack. Side by side for second. LeVar Scott cleanly to the inside. He's going to take over the second position. LeVar Scott to second with just 13 laps to go. Tag up one more time around for William Sawalich. No pressure from behind. Clean and green down the back stretch into turns three and four. He'll be looking at the checkered flag. This time by William Sawalich picking up career win number two here at Flat Rock Speedway. William's second win on the season and a special one at that here at Flat Rock Speedway. What's going through your mind right now getting out of the race car? Yeah, I think I saved my tires perfectly um, and kind of hope for a restart there and that happened. Um, I'm really proud of this team. We had a really fast uh, Sound Gear Toyota Camry and I can't thank this team enough for this opportunity. Uh, really cool track, uh, really racy. Um, kind of got into the 15 there. I think I thought I was inside of him, so I kept my nose in and uh, I thought it was pretty fair. Congratulations on the win. Thank you.